hello welcome again to this channel today we are to solve this problem uh, three incandescent lamps are connected in parallel to an 115 volt 60 cycle source if the lamp rating is 75 100 and 150 watts calculate the RMS value of the resultant current for letter A for letter B write the equation for the resultant current to be able for us to uh, understand the problem let me just represent the problem into circuit diagram so there were three incandescent lamps connected in parallel the symbol that we are going to use is a resistor for incandescent lamps so this is one another one here and another one okay so these are connected in parallel okay. so these are the main source for the first resistor this is 75 watts the other one is 100 watts and the other one is 150 watts now if you are going to connect this to 115 volts as stated in the given problem okay 115 volts you can have a value for the current for 75 watts i named this as i sub 1 for 100 watts i sub 2 and for 150 watts is I sub 3 and the total current or what we call the resultant current is here so to be able for us to solve for the resultant current since that I sub R is equal to I sub 1 plus I sub 2 plus i sub 3 we can use the idea that i uh, the total current or the resultant current is the uh, total power divided by the voltage so in this case in our problem the total power is the additions of the individual power of the incandescent lamp so you have here 75 watts plus 100 watts plus 150 and it is divided by 115 so this is i sub r okay so we are going to add the lamps wattage so 75 plus 100 plus 150 it will give us equals uh -huh. uh, sorry sorry so it let is 75 plus 100 plus 150 just simply as 325 watts divided by 115 so you divide this by 115 and it will give us 2.5 82 2.826 or 83 ampere okay so actually for letter a we we have already solved for the value of the resultant current in rms this is effective value or the rms value of the total current okay now let us have letter B in which we are to write the equation for the resultant current we know that the form is the equation is I is equals to the maximum current multiplied by sine 2 pi F T so this 115 volt is actually also in 60 cycle per second okay. and the maximum current 
can be solved by multiplying your RMS value by square root of 2 okay and that is square root of 2 this is your RMS value of your resultant current 2.83 so we multiply this by square root of 2 and it will give us 3.99 or we simply round it up to 4 amperes okay and using this equation so you have i i am now using the maximum current value which is 4 so this is sine 2 pi so your f here is 60 60 cycle per second times t you are going to simplify 2 times pi times 60 it will give us 4 sine 377 t okay so this will be your answer this is the uh, equation for the resultant current okay so thank you again to god be the glory Thank you.